Welcome everyone, thanks for coming down today. It's um, great to see so many people here and everyone's made a, a good effort, as Kim alluded to, to, to travel in today. We've got a good, really good day planned. I think you'll really enjoy the day. We've got um, basically set the day up as the, what, what it'd be like to, to live the day of an AFL footballer. So we're here today, um, our Natnui High Performance Group. Uh, they're boys aged between 16 to 18 years of age and, and they'll have an AFL-like experience with some combine testing at the start of the day. Um, they'll head back and they'll train at Domain Stadium, they'll do a cooking class, listen to Adam Simpson, so really action-packed. Uh, there's a lot of boys that have come from all over the state, from the Pilbara, Northern uh, and throughout Perth uh, and they've all either got Indigenous or multicultural background which is fantastic for them to, um, to be included into the club. The boys who were here, that last session we did um, back in July, I think it was, that was a really good session. There was some really good unity. Um, the training session was the best we've seen and uh, that was based on you guys getting to know each other and, and bringing some real energy to training. So I expect to see that um, throughout today. Players to uh, help out for the day is obviously Drew. He's helped manage the group all year. Um, Nick's gonna join in at training, Mark Hutchings uh, and Sam Butler. So as, as the academy's grown and uh, become more established, they've wanted to get involved and it's fantastic for these players or participants today to uh, connect in with current day players. Put your hand up if you, if you love, just love playing footy. All right, so we all love the footy. Some of you guys are up here with your talent, some try harder on the ground. Uh, we, we, look for, we look for talent first, so love of the game is just so critical. All right, so as long as you've got that to start with, if you love footy, great start. We really like guys who compete, who have a go. Uh, and want to win for the team. And the next level stuff for us is the guys who love footy, they compete well, but they also think about their footy and how they're gonna get better. So sometimes that might be doing extra skills on the ground, but sometimes it might be sitting with a coach and going, okay, what should I do when we have to defend a kick in? Where should I stand? So the more that you can prepare with the classroom stuff, the better you'll be, because talent and love of the game is that's, that's a no-brainer, but it's the guys who can actually study a little bit about what, what's important um, when you're not on the track. That's the next level for, for us, Drewy. Well, the advantage is, uh, is obviously to identify some talent ID as well. So um, they've trained all year, but we haven't really been able to put them uh, into a test where we know what their speed's like, their jumping, their aerobic capacity. So not as if it's going to be make or break for them, but to have that baseline is still important for the club. So testing is massive in a sport. You can use it as baseline testing to gather firstly, once the athlete comes in, you can kind of get a rough gauge of what their speed and acceleration is like, how high they can jump, so how powerful they are basically, both vertically and horizontally, what their conditioning levels are like, um, how they can move, maneuver through different pre-planned and um, unplanned courses, so change of direction, speed and agility. So you get a real good understanding of their physical performance and capabilities. Um, and then that gives you a, a kind of a starting point to where you can go with that um, and what you need to improve on basically and also what their strengths are. The reach obviously is throughout uh, our metro zones in East Perth, Swan District, Subiaco and Perth. Uh, and there's a lot of uh, African boys throughout those areas that uh, have been included in our program this year. Uh, we've got uh, some boys from Margaret River down in the southwest, also in Northern. There's the boys from uh, the Western Desert and also Newman that have come down for the event, which is uh, fantastic for them. We've uh, worked with Nara Kajunka up in uh, the Pilbara to bring uh, four of the, the most talented players down. Uh, we wanted to obviously break the nerves and brought them down yesterday. We did a welcome to country uh, and then we sent them off to Adventure World for the afternoon. So they've never been there, they've never been on a ride. And, for them to experience that, uh, get the playing gear for the day uh, and get prepped up was really important and now they'll get integrated into the group and I'm sure they'll test well. What a unique experience for these boys from the Western Desert. I mean, an amazing opportunity to come down here, uh, thanks to the Eagles and wonderful that these boys came down. Uh, Adventure World was, was literally lived up to its name. It was an, an amazing afternoon with the boys. They were able to experience a couple of the, the really exciting rides. Uh, they were just awestruck at how much fun they had. So it was, it was a great um, soft landing for them to come down and, and experience that fantastic uh, afternoon at, at Adventure World. 